Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing? Quick shit vid. How's it going everybody? How you diddling? How's your chisdy? Got a bit of shit to ripple through. I'm still not done that relegation talk because I think the longer I leave it, the more correct I'll be as the results start to come in. So I can just say, saw that coming, didn't I? But no, I will be doing that Andy Wrong. Do not fear. It's on like Andy Wrong. Inter Milan are up for stealing Firpo, apparently. If we go down, they're going to swoop in and slide in for that a defending left-back. The world's best defender. He's been decent at it past few games, to be fair, Firpo. I don't know whether somebody's just sent him highlights at the last four games or something. Sent Inter Milan. But to be fair, he'd probably be all right at Inter Milan. I don't really know how Italian league's going, but you know they'll have a lot of ball, won't they? So, so anyway, it's just when a right winger goes at him, you just know that there's no chance he's going to win the ball. It's uh, it's frightening. And uh, staying in Italy, uh, Juventus apparently, regardless of whether we go down or not, they're on about coming in for Willy Nonto, which would be awful, wouldn't it? I love Nonto. There's also some talks about like him maybe falling out with Gracia for not getting many starts, and then Bamford came straight back in. I'm not 100% sure about that, but that is rippling round. That is, they've had a bit of a tiff, but he won't. He will without fans and stuff. I don't think he's. I can't. You just don't know that he's quite a passionate bloke, and he seems like typical Italian, really. But um, you know, there's always like that at ref, isn't he? So yeah, I don't know. A bit, but then it get got me thinking, like McKenny, like you know, is that a potential? Because obviously he came from Juve, and we've got a we we have to. Well, I don't know if we have to buy him, but there's an option to buy him end of season for like 27 million and if they want Nonto I think I don't know whether Juve is still in a bit of shit at the moment I'm not really sure how it's going like money wise I don't know what I don't know what the deal is but you know they might be looking to maybe put him in with the deal or something you don't know because we, we only paid 4 million didn't we here so to for Nonto so I don't know concerning I do like McKenny. my brother just bumped into him funnily enough I'm not even joking uh, but yes, yeah, so that's a bit concerning. Cox had an interview with the uh, German media and uh, pretty good, really. We're on about like how he aspires to get back in German starting lineup, and uh, he wants to be the he wants to be our captain at some point and stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. But there is loads of interest on him now. It's getting like it's getting ramped up, and like his contract ends at end of next year, so summer twenty twenty four. And but apparently. Um, that gadge on Twitter, I forget his name. After Alessandro is the man anyway, he knows everything. And he said he's not sure. He says there's loads of interest, but Moffin's like um developed into being like anything of note. But like Newcastle are apparently reported watching him. We're getting we're getting looked at by quite a lot. Like if you think Nonto, even Furpo, Cock, we are because we're we're on that we're at that stage where we do actually have a decent squad, like some internationals, and if we're going down they're all they, they know that they're going to look to be offloaded out there. So he also mentioned Rocker, just saying that he's a right good lad fit squad in in team, and that he's really ambitious and stuff. Still for me in there is my man Adams and McKenny. I still think they're the best middle two that we've got going. Uh, he mentioned that he loves atmosphere as well, did Cock, which is obvious. But he said how it's different from German league and how it's like, um, you know, that we cheer tackles and stuff. And he says it doesn't really happen in Germany. He also mentioned that. It doesn't only come from one stand, so there's like it makes me laugh that because they're going about that Dortmund yellow wall or whatever it's called, don't they? And stuff in Munich in Bayern Munich, there's like that stand where it's like that's that's what he's kind of saying. It's the whole stadium that goes for it, and you know the family stands mint atmosphere. So it's it comes from everywhere, and he just said like how he enjoys like winning a tackle. He says you won't get much of a reaction in Germany, but here it's like everybody gets goes for it, doesn't it? But sometimes, like in, in especially in England, well, it's only because I watch a lot of English football. But sometimes you need a big tackle to get going and get the team going and stuff. There's more than one way of like motivating people, isn't there? And it's, yeah, I think we live and breathe it a bit more as well. To be honest, just in general, I think it really means something. Like we understand like the aggression of it, and it's, we, we you know, especially dirty leads. You know, we do have that background, don't we? Where it's like aggressive football. Which sometimes why I can't understand why more people don't get on board with Cooper and stuff because he's like. 
that's what Cooper is. He's like an aggressive centre back, really. Like loves it. He's always gives it all, everything, and that. But anyway, I don't want to talk about Cooper. So not that this is my relegation talk, Andy Wrong. So I've not done it yet, but I will be doing it this week, hopefully. But obviously, the average is forty points to stay up. That they reckon, you know, if it's the forty, it's been like that forever since our God were allowed. But like the forty point mark is like definite safety. But with every team being so close, you would imagine it's probably going to be a, a bit lower than that, just because no teams can really beat. They're not. They're not picking up any 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 type of points. You know, there's like five or six points between us and the eleventh, which is wild. So if we won five games from now. So there's 12 games left. If we won five games from now, that would get us on 36 points, which you would hope would be safety. Now, the only problem with that is we've won five games in 26. So it's, you know, I don't even know the math. don't know the maths for that, but that's at least double the games, isn't it? So it's um, quite frightening. But I'm I'm still positive. I'm gonna I really am gonna go over it and see what's popping, see what's cracker lacking, and see how many points I think we can realistically get, and how many points the other teams will get. I just it's a bit demoralising looking at it at the moment. But wolves on wolves on week wolves at weekend. It's good. Um, just quickly as well, I've got a new single coming out on April the first called Wheezy, and I posted a link on my channel the other day, and there will be a link in the description below. So if you click on the link. There's an option to pre-save it, so if you pre-save it, it'd be much appreciated. I noticed that a lot of people have clicked on it for me, but not actually pre-saved the single. So there is a link in the next video. I'm gonna like I'll screen record myself doing it so people know what to do. But it'd be much appreciated. It's all bullshit, but it just helps Spotify. It helps me with Spotify get onto playlists and stuff because they do demand that you they pretend that people are waiting for the single. So yeah, take it easy, everybody. I'll drop in tomorrow with another quick ship vid. In a bit. The way they've been, the results we've had, one defeat in 13. I've got Muppets from Leeds talking about pressures on us and Bamford and Forshaw and uh, a couple of others and it's over to you and this, that and the other. They got beat seven times since Christmas. We've been beaten, beaten once. We've set it up from Christmas to be in the right. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Surprises why I asked no